Hey guys, Eric Crowder from Nerdy Geek Talk, the source for all your nerdy geeky needs, here with episode 6 of Steel City Bots, and I am joined by fellow co-host Jared. Hello. How are you? Doing real good. You're doing better than uh, Tanner, who's mad that I, I said you first, visibly, <laughs> over the Skype call, but... I was here first. Tanner, how are you? Tanner, how are you? A long time ago. You think you were here a long time ago? Yeah, I do actually. Well, actually, you know what day you arrived on this earth? Oh, Christ. Yeah. Anyway, again, that's a, I think we've hinted at that in multiple episodes. You'll find out someday, viewers. Not for a <laughs> long, long time, but it'll happen eventually. We'll have a reveal. It's funny, I guarantee you. Well, it's not. It, it, it is hilarious. I guarantee it's you. It's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, but anyways, so do we want to do what we got? Yeah. Okay. So let's do. What did we get? What What did we get this week? Tanner, you didn't get anything, did you? Sound wave. No, you didn't. Okay. Jerry, what did you get this week? <laughs> um, I got um, Iron Factory's War Giant Part A or Set A, which is um. Jared, did fact, you get a necklace? He's had that. He's even yeah, mentioned I've... that on the show. How bad is your memory? It's worse than mine. Mine's pretty bad, dude. That's bad. You might want to get your head checked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got um, War Giant Part A, which is um, Iron Factor's take on a um, smaller scale combiner Bruticus. Yeah, it's like Legends class, right? Yeah, and whatever. Um, bots. I think whenever the um, combined mode is all... Wait, do you think this Bruticus will be able to be held by Shockwave this time? No, I don't think there's a Shockwave no. big enough. But this bro this Bruticus there can hold be. a Shockwave. This Bruticus can hold a Shockwave still. Yeah, I have that Shockwave, actually. Yep. But you said it's it's Brawl and Swindle in this one, right? In the first Right, and got. the next one is Vortex Blast Off, and the final one is Onslaught. That's going to be neat. Yeah. They look nice. Like you were sending they... pictures in our in our group text. Mm -hmm. I I actually want them now. <laughs> I did. that's something that I was like, oh sweet, I can skip out on that easily because it's Legends class scale combiner. I don't need that. And then I saw those <laughs> but it's two guys. Bruticus. They it's look, baby Brute. They look so nice. Wait, ah. wait, quick guys, quick poll. What's better, baby Groot or baby Brute? Uh, in terms of uh -huh. making money, Baby Groot. Which would I prefer? Yeah. A toy of definitely Baby Bruticus. Yeah. Um, and um, what else yeah. did you say? No, you're good. Um, yeah, they're um both real nice figures. And um, when I first got when I first got them, um, their um brawl, um, I had um a lot of um trouble getting the um. Oh, the knees. Lace. Yeah, did yeah, you say like, the knees were bothering Yeah, the knee transfer. Yeah, they were, um, like, it's just because of the way that they, um, fold in on themselves. It's, um, to get them out, you have to be, like, very precise. And the directions do a pretty good job of, um, telling you how to actually do it. But, um, once you get the hang of it, it actually can be pretty easy. Okay. Which do you like better, Swindle, sw uh, swindle or Brawl? I like Brawl a little bit better because he's like, he's um taller than Swindle and a lot more bulkier. Nice. A lot more, yeah. I, lot more I now quick question, really Jared. Them, quick though. question. What do you like better so far, this set or Fall of Cybertron Skittles, Bruticus? Do Do you even have the Fall of Cybertron retail, Bruticus? I do. No, no, not you. Him. No, I don't. That's okay. You don't need that. No, um, you really don't. I have the SDC. No, not the SDC. I mean, it's the same color. I have the Platinum Edition one. Um, mm -hmm. I really want an upgrade kit for that. I really wanted to get the Military Titans upgrade, which was a different onslaught, which made it look mm -hmm. amazingly game accurate, but sold out everywhere. So yeah. I, I might go. Try, I might try to get a boost kit. I might just forget about it and put it on the back of a shelf somewhere because uh, it it. I love that game, but like it's just not a good toy. And Commander Wars Bruticus is a really good toy, so yeah. And it even comes with shock. Well, it doesn't come with, but it is compatible with, with shock. Shockwave. Wave. Yeah, which is neat. But that's all you got, right? Um, I did get Shockwave's RID. purple, so that's like right. <laughs> Jeez, 
I do love purple. But what, wait, what did you get? Um, R.I.D. Blur. Oh, you didn't uh, have him already? I got him, like, just after, um, like, the, like, just the day after we um, ended the uh, episode uh, last week. Huh, I you swear, what? I thought you got that Guys, before. Guys, this really brings like a big toy. question uh, to mind. What? Okay, R.I.D. Blur came out in the same wave as Soundwave and Skywarp. Now, you might think I'm going to talk about Soundwave, but no. I'm actually going to talk about Skywarp and mainly the absence of Thundercracker. Like, where is he? Um, so, interesting thing. This is a side note. Uh, it's actually been said that at one of the I- interviews with the Hasbro guys, they asked them specifically, is there any more Robots in Disguise product to be re- that hasn't been revealed um, before it ends and Cyberverse starts? And apparently they said yes. You know, there weren't, like, any new reveals at Hascon, so maybe we'll get a last wave or something at uh, Toy Fair. But I, I certainly hope we get a Thundercracker, and I hope it's not and just, like, a Can that last because... wave just be, like, Thundercracker, Acid Storm, and Sunstorm? I, I highly doubt it, but I would buy that. Yeah. Or, like, do a three-pack, because that would be, uh, be pretty Where's cool. Who's going to carry that? Who would carry that three-pack of all three of the same mold? I mean, I would love it, but I'm just saying that'd <laughs> it's be a, happened before, dude. Be a tough sell. Yeah, but not with robots in disguise. Totally different audience, man. You got to think about your target. Um, you because it's hard to sell the same toy to little kids. Well, it depends. If there's no if there's no premise for it on the show. If it was on the show, then yeah. But if they're not on the show, who knows? Um, but you got R.I.D. Blur. Did you like him? Yeah, he's a real nice figure. I. Actually, really like him. Um, I almost got him a while ago. I think that's what you're um, thinking about, about, Eric. I almost, I almost got him um, when I, around the same time that I got R.I.D. Soundwave. Oh yeah. But, but he sold out, and I wasn't a- gotcha. able to snag him. And we finally got a restock of him, and I snagged him as fast as I could. Nice. Uh, I love that mold. I have the blur version, and then I actually got a custom uh, of it as Prime Dead End. Like Transformers oh. Prime Deluxe Dead End. I have that. Mm-hmm. I have uh, two of Wait, that really, blur. Eric? Can you send me a picture of that? I'd love to see that, actually. I do love Prime Dead End. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you later. It's it's pretty neat looking, actually. Also, wait, wait. Okay, Jared, I have got a very important question for you about R.I.D. Blur. Mm-hmm. Was he slow? Oh, you know what? I, I will say that. So, uh, one Transformers thing, non-Transformers thing I did get this week is the Blu-ray to Baby Driver, which if you haven't seen, I cannot recommend enough. It is literally the best movie I've seen, hands down. I cannot think of a movie that's better. Not even kidding. So I would definitely recommend seeing it, let alone buying it. I don't get sick of the movie. I listen to the soundtrack pretty much every day now. So, yeah, I love the movie. It's amazing. But Transformers-wise, I got Grotusque. I got him the day after the show last week. Uh, well, actually, the day that the show went up last week. But I really like him. Um, I didn't spend a ton with him that day, only because I was, I was pretty busy and stuff. But um, I have really, really liked him. His transformation, he's heavily retooled from uh, Double Cross. Like, he's very different. The transformation is very different. I really love how the lower jaw forms the chest plate. Um, it's neat. It is definitely neat. Uh, Much grotesque? Better. You mean his real... No, uh, do you know how to pronounce that? It's grotesque. The word is grotesque. No, it's grotesque. Oh my gosh, I hate you. <laughs> where have I heard that? Was that you that said Fuse, that before? Awesome Transformers Reviews. Oh, that's where it's... Okay, that makes sense. Um, his Titan... He also comes with Scorponok, who I have somewhere over there. Who's? It's, he's a really nice Titan Master. Like, possibly my favorite Titan Master. But his Even Titan more than Master itself... Face. Um, I mean, it's like just the head sculpt in terms of like having a little vehicle. Eight Face still probably wins. No, Shuffler wins for me, but Eight Face is a close second. Uh, I have it, that Ultra Mammoth repaint of uh, Shuffler. Oh, geez. Stop right. trying to be stop trying to be Hot Rod over but there. Here's he, I have the uh, he actually you not have only Stan he, Bush in the background. What? Oh, I got you a should. brand new. No, I got a brand new. So like he has the brand new Titan Master face. Well, that like the head sculpt face, but the Titan Master of Stan Bush. The Titan Master, shut up! 
The Titan Master awesome. has a new head sculpt. It's actually a saber tooth tiger head is what his Titan Master has now. And his Titan Master has tons of paint. Actually, yeah, he still has a, way more paint than any other Titan Master has, but uh, it's a, really colorful because they changed the plastic colors too. It is neat. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like him. Like, a lot. A lot more than I thought I would. So, I'm hoping we're going to get Deluxe Repugnus at some point, but it is very unlikely. Also, it's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, so, if you want it, you can definitely get it at some point. Just like you'll be able to get mm. RC at some point. So, it's very nice. Uh, so moving on, our history lesson. Because we got to power through. We got to power through this episode. I'm hoping to get it done sooner. Uh, wow. Way to just reload, Paige. Um, but either way, on October 17th, which is probably the day you're watching this, maybe not, but either way, today's the 16th, but this coming week, we can use for the history lesson on October oh, and 17th. a couple days, a few days ago, it was my favorite holiday, Friday the 13th. That's, that's not a real, like, literal holiday, though. Halloween is. But... Look, Halloween is the best holiday ever. Fun fact, I play, I live stream myself playing D uh, Dead Space. People actually watched um, on Friday the 13th. It was it was fun. It was a little scary at certain points, actually. Which, which Dead Space? The first one. I actually Ooh. have played two. I hadn't played the first one before then. But I beat it. That's why I played, I played, I live streamed it till I beat it. It was fun. But, yeah. Uh, history lesson is that in 1985, on October 17th, uh, the episode City of Steel came out. Why did I pick that episode? Why did I pick that as our history lesson? Ah, uh, yes, the great episode where Optimus Prime's arm shoots Devastator. No, why did I pick the episode? Come on, that should be easy. Oh that yeah, because we're in um, what now? What's the name of it? You are. I'm not right now. Oh, shut up. Are you in, you're in Pawnee, Indiana with Parks and Rec. All right. I'm in West Lafayette. Now, Jared and I are currently in Pittsburgh, so Steel. Yes, the city of Steel. Anyone... Hence the name of the podcast as well, if you still have not caught on. We've mentioned that mm. at least a few times. Yes. This it's, is also a... A memori it's also a memoriam to when the Decepticons and mainly Devastator tr tried to get on top of one of the buildings, and then basically Optimus Prime was a crocodile, and then Skull Cruncher was born, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, so I picked that because I thought it was neat. I saw it, and I was, I was pleasantly surprised by that title. So, yes, it's, uh, it is a Pittsburgh-themed Pod, like named of the podcast. I know that's not why they mm. named that the episode, but I thought that was neat, so that's why I picked <laughs> that. Um, but moving on, so what do you guys want to talk first? The new show, the Takara stuff, or the... You know, we, we this is what we'll talk about first. Uh, this, this will be quick. So, right now what you're seeing on the screen is a Bugatti Veyron that has been specifically wow. customized to... Uh, appeal to Transformers fans. Now, you know, if you weren't aware, a Bugatti Veyron is one of the most expensive cars in the world. So, yeah, this is literally the only Worth one that's penny. like it. It is $1.9 million. It was discounted from $2.1 million. But it's, it's been discounted down to $1.9 million. So if you have that much, are you going to get this car? Um, yes. If I had that much money, I probably would because I love it. Now, if I only had one point mil one point nine million dollars, no, I would not buy it because then I'd just be in the well, same. Dude, state that's I'm in still like far, pretty good. No, I, I, there's a lot more things you do with one point nine million dollars. I know. I, if I had a, if I had more than that, there's a good chance I'd actually buy it. Not even kidding. <laughs> but you know what? I don't, so I don't have to worry about being in that problem, in that situation. Uh, what do you? <laughs> I was going to say, what do you guys think of this car? But obviously, it's sweet. Is there anything else yeah. to say about it, really? Like, yeah. gosh, this car is so awesome. <laughs> if you haven't... Um, I mean, you, I'm just, Michael Bay probably is just... I mean, he probably really wants it. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like He's probably cars. already bought, like, 40 of them. So. No. One, because I don't think you can own that many. And two, um, no, he doesn't have that much money. I beg to differ. He's Michael Bay. You think he just has eighty million to drop on just on cars? Yeah. 
I don't think you're right. I mean, it depends if he would take money away from his planes, probably. But I doubt it. Uh, now I'm curious, though, actually. You bought the aerial bots? Yeah. But, anyways... You bought Jetfire. You should definitely go check this out. It's on uh, T-Formers is where, I, is where I got the picture from. But, um... It's you on can see Michael the, Bay's Christmas see the Shut up! Oh, yeah. You can see the inside, and it's all nice light blue leather, and it is nice. It is so nice. So definitely go look at it if you're interested in the car. I mean, not buying. If you're interested in buying the car, look at you go. Why are you listening to us? <laughs> Clearly, you have enough money to do whatever you want. Why are you listening to us? But anyways, yeah, that car is amazing. Uh, Jared, are you messing with the mic? Because that is loud. No, it must be um, must be rubbing against my shirt. Jared, I apologize stop about eating that, that bag okay. of ruffles right now. It's, it, the crunching, it's really. I don't even like really potato affecting chips. the waves, the sound waves. I don't even like potato chips. But anyways, um, hmm, show or toys? Let's do show because there's just one of that. So we got our new, we got our first look at the new show for uh, Transformers After Robots in Disguise, which is Cyberverse. There's Bumblebee, Windblade, and Optimus. Who's your favorite out of these three new designs? Optimus. Is he actually your favorite out of the three? Yeah, dude, Optimus is my favorite character out of three. Have you looked at him? Have you seen this picture? Uh, maybe. No, you haven't. You should look at it. Well, That'd dude, okay, I don't like Bumbles that much, and, I, and I'm not, I mean, I, I don't mind. Hi, I'm Windblade, but I mean. I'm curious how you're going to look, at, how you're going to feel about Optimus Prime's face, though. Wait, face? Yeah. What happened to him? Look, look in the Skype chat. What do they do, to Jared? Him? Who's your favorite out of these three designs? Not necessarily your favorite character. Which is your favorite design? Um, I kind of like Bumblebee's design, to be honest. I like his design a lot. It's a mix match of a different bunch of different things. I think. Mm -hmm. I think I like Windblade the most, actually. It's hard to say because you can't see the rest of Prime's body. Prime's face yeah. just reminds me of Titans Return uh, Orion Pax that titan master like that's exactly what it looks like to me at least it actually does look like that um but i think that uh cyberverse windblade looks neat not all that different from our butts in disguise but i think she's actually i think my favorite out of these three although i i actually really do like bumblebee like the car parts kind of look like they're from rid meanwhile he has like the generations look with the the car parts the car hood being like his shoulders but, you know, like a G1-ish mm -hmm. style head mixed with, honestly, like a little bit of anim animated stuff. That kind of, Like, it just it looks, looks like a blend of a bunch of bumblebees. I think Prime does look nice, though. It just looks almost Orion Paxi. Uh, but I like Windblade. I think Windblade's actually my favorite. And I, I like that they're including Windblade in almost everything. Because yeah. she's like almost like a bumblebee type thing, except in the movies. Um where like not What's as in, wrong not with as his in face? the character, but that he just looks like face. animated Optimus Prime combined with the Ryan Pax. But that he looks like a Ryan Pax. So he doesn't look like Optimus Prime. Just put the mouth plate on him. And it'll be fine. I wonder if he'll have a mouth plate. I'm curious now, actually. He better. This is not Beast Wars. But this is. He had one in Beast Wars. Yeah, but he didn't use it all the time. He need to use it sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'm actually curious how that'll play out but i'm i'm actually looking forward to the show i think it'll be neat i do like robots in disguise though so don't get me wrong i'm not like yay robots in disguise is over cyberverse yeah no i, I mean why I does like he robots. need a mouth he's not optimus rhyme he's optimus prime that was bad you sound like wheelie but anyways <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh what was i gonna say Oh, yeah, but the the show looks neat. I, I mean, the designs yeah. for the show look neat. I'm digging the aesthetic so far, so that should be neat. <laughs> um, so that was weird. It like, yeah. it, like, shut off Skype. That was odd. Uh. Anyway, she still be in here. Um, now let's move on to... Okay, so we'll, we'll do the big stuff last. I don't know what... It depends on what you consider big or not, but... um. First, let's talk the two um, Transformers Legends, Takara Legends, uh, exclusives. First off, we have Grand Max. Wow. Yeah. That is a surprise. 
I'm not going to lie, yeah. this totally took me off guard, especially since they didn't repaint Metroplex, so I didn't see a reason they would do that. Now, apparently what they're doing with this is that it needs 2,000 pre-orders to get made, and after 3,000 pre-orders, they're going to be including a little pretender suit for the Titan Master, hmm. which is green. It's supposed to mimic the one that the original Grand Max had. Um, but it's like it's one of the Power of the Primes pretender suits, which fits a Prime Master. So it's actually like a repaint of that, which is neat. But this is, yeah, a repaint of their Fort Max. How do you guys feel about this? Also, are you going to attempt to get it? Um, I like it, and I feel pretty good about it. Uh, but getting it, um, um, I, I don't know. It's going to be in between about. 200 and 300 dollars, probably closer to the side of 300. Not, not at 300. I've seen it priced lower, but. At least probably like 250. I think I might have seen it 240 somewhere, but that might have been somewhere where it would be a lot for shipping. Could be wrong. But either way, <laughs> it's not going to be cheap. So you don't think you're going to get it, right? I'm not surprised. Right? No, because I'd rather. You know what I'd rather do? Okay. Buy something else. <laughs> no, I'd rather spend. Let's see here. Um, you're say the I'd rather spend twenty five hundred dollars on original on an original inbox G1 Grand Max. Let me know when you get that $2,500. Okay, I have it. No. Uh, you know what? That's a good question. Would I rather have this or an original Grand Max? That is a toy that I would take the original uh, Grand Max. But, uh, Jared, what about you? You buy more expensive <laughs> things than any that? of us. Um, is this on your radar or no? Do you even like it that much? It looks pretty nice, but I'm probably not going to get it. Ooh, or I... wait, Eric. No, wait, wait, wait. Or, or if you want one that's in pristine condition, never been opened, it's only a mere eight thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass that up. Same. Not that, not that hard of a choice. But you said you're not going to get it either, Jared. Is More likely said? not. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm probably. Yeah, I'm definitely probably not going to get it. Definitely, probably. <laughs> I just love the way you put that. That almost seemed made it seem like you're thinking about it. I'm definitely <laughs> probably not going to buy that. I, I feel yeah, like, it's feel not like on my radar. I feel like there's, there's a little bit of doubt in that. But anyways, <laughs> I think it's pretty. But um, Fort Max wasn't uh, an amazing enough toy for me to want to spend that much to get its repaint. Even though it is a prettier repaint. Um, Fort Max, I just, I like him. But I didn't like him that much. Like, if it was a, a mold that I loved, then I'd maybe consider going insane over the going for the insane price. But this, no, Fort Max wasn't that great of a toy. He wasn't bad, but he just wasn't that great. So I'm going to have to pass on this one, although he does look good. Now, the next one, I may not be able to pass so easily on. Uh, the next one is Takara Legends Great Shot. How do you guys feel about this one? It's pretty great. Jared, are you there? Or are you just frozen? Oh, you're there. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea what happened. That was that was odd. You were just gone for a second. Okay, but either way, I mean, yeah. it's pretty great, man. I like it. I do, but uh, Other great I, th shot. I think I like Grand Max a little more. See, that see, that's that's totally reasonable. Um, I personally. I don't know. Like I, I dig the colors of Grand Max, but like if I if I was going to buy either of these toys, it's great shot. One because I really love the six shot mold, uh, and two because it's way more affordable. Still not cheap. It's expensive, but it has yeah, a remolded Japanese. chest, entire chest with big chest wings, which I don't think are going to be able to fold away into the chest like uh, six shots did. So that's kind of a bummer, but oh well. Um, and he has a new head and new uh, helmet, along with new shoulder parts and a new beast head, which is Rhino. I think that's it. It looks nice, though, like really nice. I may have to buy this. Still not sure yet. This isn't a, a definite thing, but I'm liking it. I feel like this could have been the leader in one of the box sets that got canceled. Like, not that it, like... I think that may, might have been planned to possibly. I don't know, though. Who knows? We'll see. Well, no, we won't see, but I, I'm. maybe we'll find out one day. But either way, what about you guys? Do you you like this one more, less, or and do you want to buy it? I like it. I'm probably going to get that. I am probably going to get um, 
Great yeah, job. I'm probably going to get it. Nice. Um, Tanner, do you think you'll be getting him or no? Probably not, man. But I honestly, I mean, oh, man. You, you know something? I found something else that I like about uh, Grand Max a lot. His yeah. sword is just really, really cool. On the the new one, or are you talking about the original? No, the the new one. It is neat. It, I like the I way it's colored. It. It's apparently it's pretty animation accurate. But yeah, I I really like uh, Great Shot. So I may have to get that one. I don't know. It's expensive, but I want it. Oh, wait, did you guys see? Um... Did you guys see the Fans Toys 20G Terminus Gigantus or Giganticus? They're uh, they're uh, Omega Supreme. Yeah, the blue Omega, the Sentinel Omega yes, Supreme. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, I saw. That. I wasn't even gonna mention it. I love that. It is it is nice looking, but I don't want to mention it because it's insanely priced. I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> I want it. Uh but anyways, moving on. So we have some Power of the Primes leaks. Uh, let me just adjust real quick. Um, what order do we want to go? Okay, let's start. Let's go s big, small and work our way big. So, first off, we have Deluxe Class Moon Racer. Our first look at the actual toy itself. I like her. What do you guys think about her? She looks real nice. I'm curious if she can seat uh, Prime Master slash Titan Master. I know the Legends Class still can, but I'm curious if the Deluxes and... Uh, Voyagers still do or not. I don't know if they still have seats in all of them or not. Because they don't have, like, because they don't have Titan Masters anymore, so they obviously don't have to, but I'm curious if they can seat a Prime Master. I mean, they can go in the little hand thing. How do you guys feel about the the hand? Like, how they can become a, it can become a chest plate with the Prime Master inside of it, too? It's supposed to be, like, armor? I don't know. It, it looks kind of weird, in my opinion. Yeah, it makes them look chubby. It's just mm -hmm. the combiner hand. Like it's just they have to be able to do something. Then, like, what's with the little? What's within the center? That like little? It's a white square with like little black spots in it. That's the prime master. That's the thing that's like powering it up. It looks kind of weird. Uh, I don't know which one that is, but yeah, that's one of the prime masters. Uh, but overall, I like Moon Racer a lot. And yeah. What do you think about it being? Um, this is the first like girl, female combiner limb we've had that was intended to be a female from the beginning of the molding process. So what do you think about that? Like it's not a remold. Like Victorion was a female combiner, but it was remolded from all uh, bots that were not intended to be female. So how do you feel about this being the first? Like how do you think this pulled it off? I, I think it I gotta see. Better. I gotta see what it looks like in limb mode first. Well, I mean, I don't mean as the combiner mode. I mean as in its own robot mode. Oh, well, and that, yeah, I think they did pretty well with it, yeah. Yeah, I think Same. it definitely wins. I think the proportions mm -hmm. definitely make it more feminine versus uh, the... What okay, was, except when the you put that armor on, though. Torch bearers. I mean, yeah, it looks like a... Just, yeah, chubby, either way. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so I like it a lot, but it is kind of blurry. Can't wait to actually get it. Mm -hmm. um, next up, I can tell you one thing. I am digging these Terracons. That's not next up. But anyways, nice try. Next up is Alita One, the our other Fembot combiner. Uh, yeah, is a retool of Starscream. A bit odd, but I'm liking it. How do you guys feel about her? She looks pretty nice. I like the mold. I like what it looks like. I think it works better as Starscream, mm. but I still really like it as Alita. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, the, the idea of Optimus Prime's girlfriend being somewhat resembling Starscream is kind of weird to me. Uh, I don't hate the jet mode. It doesn't look like Starscream at all in robot mode, but yeah, it's a little odd. Either way, I still I like it. But like I said, this one I'll have to get in hand before I have a definitive stance on it. I, I like it. It's just I don't know if I'm going to love it or not. But the next figure I'm even more conflicted about. This is our other Voyager leak we have. And that is, um, I almost said combined words, Power of the Primes Inferno. 
which if you couldn't tell from the picture, is a repaint of Hotspot, Commander Wars Hotspot. Well, I wish it had new hips. That's Same. what I'll say. I mean, it's, it's Hotspot, but the red. Also, interesting thing on the art, it had the combiner mode using um, uh, Onslaught style of shoulders, because Bruticus' yeah. shoulder transformation was different from uh, Defense Wars. But this has him using all the Hotspot parts, and therefore the... Um, well, what did you like more, Defense Hotspot or, or Onslaught? Onslaught. I liked Onslaught more Onslaught, myself. way better. And so that's what I was hoping, is that it was going to be accurate to the art. But this picture, which could be an older picture, so it might not be right, it might be the Onslaught parts. This picture has the Hotspot parts, which make it a total Defensor. Like, you, it would be that version of the mold again. It would not be um, the Bruticus version. Like, as in the ah. way the shoulders are. Obviously, the head and chest aren't going to be Bruticus style, but... Yeah, I don't think the, the okay. So as of as its own self, like the the robot in the vehicle mode, I'm I'm fine with it. I really like it actually a lot more than I thought I would. Is it just a repaint of Hotspot? But combiner mode, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna feel about that. I don't think I'm gonna. Be I don't really know. I, that. Honestly, if you're looking for an Inferno, now it's gonna be a little old. But I'd really I'd just go back to what was that Universe Inferno? You could, mm -hmm. but. I don't want that, so I'm going to get this one, because this one's going to be... However, I am, for this mold, I, I would love to see the grapple. That'd be interesting. I doubt yeah. we'll see it, but this, that would be interesting. I, I really am liking this. I want this, something though. to go with my hoist, man. I would really <laughs> love it if Takara did it as uh, art fire. That would be neat, oh, to me, yeah. at mm -hmm. least. Um, but yeah. So, last bit we have is something I've been wanting to see. Not in color, and this is this is just art, but it's it's specific line art, so it is the toy. But, okay, we'll work our way back to front, because the front is definitely the best. So back, it's the smallest, but you see Starscream's torso mode. And then also Alita 1's next to it, which is slightly bigger. But they're, they're more different than I thought they would be. Yeah. Uh, she's she's pretty, pretty significantly retooled. Mm -hmm. um, I think I like Starscream slightly better, because the coronation crown and stuff for the command mode is neat. Um, How disrupts my coronation? It looks coronation, like... Starscream. This is bad comedy. No. Anyways, this looks like it would be a really good Lyo Ly Ly Kaiser. Shut up, man! It would be a really good Lyo Kaiser torso. Just saying. Just putting that out there. Also, I find it interesting the Enigma of Combination and all their chests, how it's lower on Starscream and uh, Alita 1, but it's like a belly button there. But uh, Abominus, it's like the upper chest, like yeah. the very top of his chest. It's just interesting how it's different on all of them. Um, but yeah, speaking of the last one, we have Abominus. What do you guys think Yay. of Abominus? Look at that torso. How do you feel about it? I like... You like? Yes. I love it. I'm, I Man. love it as well. It looks awesome. I love it's, it. I've, I've been waiting for a pretty good Abominus. I love the Terracons. Same. All the deluxe Terracons look amazing. And however, make fine limbs. in today's world... This one's going to make a good torso, too. So. However, in today's world, it's not like the 80s anymore. A character named Cutthroat really isn't going to go over too well. He's keeping that I name. I wonder what kind of crap name they're going to make for him. No, he has Cutthroat. Wait, say what? They all have their original names. Wow. Every single one of them do. But yeah, so right. I am I am loving the combined mode. It is clearly looking. This is what's showing off that yeah, he has some shared engineering with Silverbolt. Not shared parts, but shared. Now engineering, is this is this going to be a um, a gift a gift set or is this going to be individual like the old classic style combiner wars? No, there it's it's power of the primes. It's literally just waves of the figures. It's just like combiner wars. Okay. Yeah, so it's just they're a wave. I mean, they're all spread out. A, cu a couple of waves, like the Dinobots. Oh come there's... on! It's it's gonna be well, like well, as no, long no, as it's hunger, not like that junk in with the Stunicons and the Aerial Bots, where we got all the Aerial Bots and then drag strip. No, it's like, not like that. Man. It's more mixed up than that. Like it's more like half half, I think. Although there's one, it's there's like one. You don't have to wait for 
another wave to get the last member of a team. It's more like there's one member of a team in a future wave, and then you get all the rest in the next wave. But there isn't like one where you get all of them except one, and then one in the next wave. That's not how it's going this time. Plus, Hunger, they're spread out over three waves, I think, because Hunger is wave two Voyager, along with Alita One. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that, that he is actually wave two. So we'll get Hunger pretty soon. But we won't get the limbs until we get one of them either. It's not Blot, I don't think. It might be Ripper Snapper in Wave 3. And then we get the rest of them in Wave 4, I believe. Could be wrong on that. But so I'm it's going to be sure over three sure. waves? Possibly, yeah. But he looks like he's going to be worth the wait. Because, I, I, I mean, the last combiner I felt this uh, psyched about was uh, Bruticus. Bruticus was very good. I think this will be a better toy. I think this is going to be superior on level. Good, I mean, maybe Computron. Better. Look, I like I like Computron. I okay. didn't get that one, but I just feel more excited about this because I mean, Computron. I mean, you basically had everyone. Now I kind of want to go back and buy Combiner Wars Computron, even though I didn't except for it. um, I think Afterburner was new, if I'm correct. No, all of them were uh, retools. None of them were new molds. Afterburner was a retool of Groove. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, okay, because Groove was... Wait, uh, I, yeah. that is Afterburner, right? Or am I going crazy? Afterburner's the motorcycle? Wait. Well, who am I thinking of? Who's the oh, God, what's the car? Lightspeed. Lightspeed, yeah, okay, yeah. But Afterburner is, motorci is the motorcycle confirmed. <laughs> It is right now. I'm, now I'm like doubting myself. I I don't I I know that, but that's weird. Uh, but yeah, we have to ask for him. Abominus is reported. Uh, John Warden said that it's his favorite combiner they've done so far. So it it's looking it's it is certainly showing great signs. It's, so it's far. finally gonna replace on my shelf the um the Legends Abominus that came out with Prime. <laughs> I have G I actually one of the few figures I own from G1 is I do have a G1 Abominus, which I love very much. Oh. So, that is, I, I've owned very, very little G1, but that is one that I have. So, I that's how much I love him. I yeah, it, this is going to be pretty cool, because uh, on my shelf right now, it's pretty funny, because I have all the full-scale combiners, and then for my Abominus, it's just the legend scale oh, one. Transformers Prime. <laughs> that's funny. Um, what was I going to say? I had something to do with Abominus. Oh, do you have Computron from Combiner Wars or no? Because he did come out in like a box set. Did you buy him? I didn't. I'm just curious if anyone else did. I didn't. I I mean I I was thinking about it. Um, I thought about but it. But you too, see, I mean, Computron might be my least favorite combiner. I wouldn't blame you. I don't love him either. You want to know why? Okay, because he never does anything. <laughs> he fights Abominus. That's why I'm. I no, want no, no. You want to know? I, what I don't want him. Does? He just stands there and said, "Okay, um, probability of victory, uh, fifty-seven percent." I want, I want him as like an accompany piece to Abominus. Like, I don't want him because I want Computron. I want him to go with Abominus. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. That's that's the only reason I would want a copy. He's one. he's more of an accessory to Abominus to, than an actual figure to me. Yeah. Although I mean, the 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 Commander Wars figure itself isn't a bad toy. Like it's a fun toy. But in terms of just wanting a Computron, I just don't want one that bad. Well, then I mean, the thing about Computron, two things. Okay, you have everyone in the set already. Well, it's pretty heavily. Rigged. And another thing, if you bought Scatter Shot, like I know you did, you really were annoyed with that. Yeah, <sighs> I'm. I don't like that. I don't like that scatter shot. I have that scatter shot. I know, I and you're stuck with it. I have him in like a group that I'm just like, this is bots that don't belong anywhere. So this is just a wrecker group. <laughs> so he's he's in the wreckers now because I can. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. So if you like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See, so remember to say it. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. So check us out on social media. You can find me at Eric Crowbar on Twitter, two C's, link in the description below. You can also check me out on Instagram at Aramis Prime. Wait, 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 wait. Crowbar. There, so. Crowbar. Okay, wait. Am I going to find you in the hands of a Gordon Freeman? <coughs> no. Anyways, what's your social media? What's your Twitter? You can find me at Optanimus Prime at Twitter. 
dot at Twitter. <laughs> no, not dot at Twitter. You can say dot com. But anyways, yeah, his, the link to that is in the description below. And you Jared, what about you? Twitter, dot ten was prime. Happy Halloween. You can find me on Twitter at Jared Proko. Okay. That's basically where I reside all day. Pretty easy. Um, but yeah, you can check me out on Instagram too because I should be posting more often Transformers stuff. I'm planning to do, uh, I've been doing it on Twitter too, but a uh, hashtag deskbot where I take a picture of a Transformer on my desk every day. Oh yeah, how is Overlord? Uh, the, uh, yeah, today's deskbot was um, MMC's uh, Carnifex, which is their Overlord. Oh my goodness, such a good toy. One of the very few third-party figures I own. Now, do you have TR Overlord? Toy. No, not yet. I need it. I want it very badly still. Even though I have this one, I still want Titan to turn Overlord very badly. I need to I don't get know, it. man. Did you get Sky Shadow or Thunder or Thunderwing yet? There is no Thunderwing. The Deluxe. Oh, no, no, no. But I do have Sky Shadow, the leader. You need to. Uh, I do kind of want that Thunderwing, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, yeah, definitely let us know or whatever. If you have any questions for the show too, let us know because uh, I will definitely take questions. There have been people tweeting at us about the show afterwards, so I know yeah. that you are. There are people listening till the end. Um, if you have any questions for the show, whether it has to do with news or just like personal preferences, go ahead and ask us. We'll definitely take questions. I may post. And finally, a- if you want to send me an abominus when it comes out, um, don't. There Please you go. do. But, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I might post a thread in one of the Transformers Facebook groups at some point or, and or on Twitter. Um, also, make sure you check out the latest episode of the Star Wars podcast, Holocron Herald, where we break down the Last Jedi trailer way more than I thought we were going to. Way less than I already have. I've been doing it nonstop. Crazy. But uh, we, it's, it's Look, a really I good I can sum up that breakdown. trailer in two words. Best trailer. No. Yes. Boba and Fett. No. <laughs> you're just you're just wrong. But anyways, all yeah. of this is foreshadowing. No, it's not. He's not he's not dead, but he is not coming back in the movies. But I mean, he, he might would be make he might so be dead much money time. because he's so cool. No, he wouldn't. Not in the new movies. He would make money in the Han Solo movie. But in like the new trilogy? No. You're saying that he's going to come back? Yes. No, in the, uh, is it possible that he could be in the Han Solo movie? Absolutely. Do I think he's alive in canon? Yeah, they've hinted at it already. But this is a Transformers Wait, Did you guys hear there, th- there's uh, speculations about an Obi-Wan movie? Yes. Um, I'd rather have a Boba Fett movie, but it's either going to be an Obi-Wan oh, movie. Oh, yeah, no, Boba, Boba Fett movie. That Boba Fett, look, oh, Boba Fett is like the, the coolest movie. thing to ever exist ever, so yeah, we need that. But this is separate. Well, one last thing, though, before we go, is November is National Podcast Month. And the challenge is to do a podcast every single day of the month. I'm insane. I'm thinking about it. This podcast would count as one I, I one hope. Of them too, I hope you're not serious. I'm thinking about it. I think I might try it. I'm crazy. So we'll see. I'm definitely gonna be helping out uh, Radio Free Cybertron. So make sure you check out. Are them. you also going to be uh, participating in No Shave November? Uh, no, I will shave. There is a reason. There is a specific. Uh, reason and time when I shave. I'll tell you some other time, but it's actually a personal thing. I don't. I'm. I haven't shaved in a little while, not by personal choice. It's against my will. But that's a that's something I'll tell you later. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing me podcast every single day in November, let me know because I am thinking about it. And yes, I'm crazy. I'll also be helping out with Radio Free Cybertron. They're going to be trying to do something every day, so I'll probably be on a decent amount of their stuff too. But I'm thinking about my own doing. One a day, which would still count this, the Star Wars podcast, but that would be five other podcasts throughout the week, every week of November. So we'll see. You may be getting daily uh, doses of myself. We'll see. And maybe other guys from the show, too, because it's an entire month of podcasts. I don't think I'm going to do it all by myself, but yeah. we'll see. It's all going to be about whatever I want because it's a podcast. Of, it's a month of podcasting. So, yeah, um, if you're interested... Uh, definitely. If you have ideas for podcast it, log let me know. chapter one, <laughs> I I don't. I'm not gonna do vlogs of my life. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not. I haven't hit that low point yet. I'm but. running out of things to talk about, and the supply of. I never run out of things to talk about, but I will take suggestions so I have people that things want to hear about. I'll never run out of things to talk about. Trust me. But either way, thanks for listening and goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye.